Hi, today we are going to see one more topic from Oracle that is Oracle triggers. Okay, triggers are nothing but chunk of code in a PLSQL. Okay, you cannot write any coding in the SQL. We can write only the SQL and we can execute it. Okay but we cannot write coding. That means uh, the set of operations we can say, set of uh, lines we can say. So we, we need the programming language that is PLSQL, okay? Then we have to write a code in the PLSQL, which is saved in the database and can be used anytime we require. This can be used in data definition language and data manipulation language. I think you are familiar with what is CDL and what is DML. There is no need to explain all those things again. If you have got any doubts, you can go through my channel. A lot of videos are there. Okay. The parameters allowed in triggers can be classified into four types, namely trigger name, trigger time, trigger event, and table name. Out of these four, trigger name and trigger event table name these are mandatory okay the rest of the things like trigger time is obligatory we can use it or we can there is no need to use it okay we can use or we cannot use it and trigger always starts with the uh, trigger name i will show the syntax so that you can easily understand here create or replace trigger trigger name why replace means already the trigger is having created means we want to for example you are doing some modifications at that time you have to use the create or replace otherwise it will say the trigger already exists so we have to use that replace create or replace and trigger time then trigger event on table name trigger event i will uh, show you the trigger event we are going to see only one trigger event if i take all the trigger events it will take more time that all trigger events will work uh, work similarly only there is no need to explain each and every trigger event separately okay. then declaration variable declaration then begin this is the trick after begin the trigger body that exact code will come okay trigger body and then for error handling, the exception, error handling code will be there. Error handling code is optional, but in the real-time environment, we must use this exceptional handling. Otherwise, uh, we will land in the problem, okay? Real-time environment, the entire syntax will be used. Exception, exception handling code, and finally, the end of the program. This is the skeleton, we can say. This is the template we are going to use for the creation of the trigger. Now we will see one simple example. We are going to see the trigger event before insert. This means that Oracle will fire the trigger before there is an actual insert operation executed on the table. In this example, we are going to look into the trigger that will be triggered before we are doing an insert operation on the EMP table. Here we are going to create one trigger. Already I told create or replace trigger and I have given trigger a name. And then what is that? A trigger name, then trigger event. Trigger event here is before insert. On which table? EMP table for each row. Then begin, then coding starts. I have given that variable dot department number is equal to 30. When the department number is 30, we are going to calculate the commission and the commission is salary into 0.4. That means 40 percentage of the salary. The salary is 5,000 means that commission should be around 2,000. We should check after the that, uh, trigger uh, sorry, after the trigger got fired, we should check the employee table whether we have got the correct answer. The uh, employee salary is 5,000. That commission should be 2,000 because it's fine for this 40 percentage. 
0.40. Okay. Now I will show the example. Yeah. I am going to use the employee table. Yeah, there are 14 rows will be there. I am going to insert one more row. Before that, we have to create the trigger. Here, yeah, I have already written the trigger. Already explained the trigger also. Okay. Before that, I will drop the trigger and then I will recreate it. Dropping the trigger is drop trigger, trigger name. Now, trigger will be dropped. For, for our explanation, only I am doing like this. Now, I am creating the trigger. Now the trigger got created and compiled successfully. If compilation is not successful, means it will throw errors. No, everything is working fine. Now I am going to insert a row into the employee table for calculating the commission. Yeah, I am going to give, I am going to insert one employee row, employee record, and the employee name is queen. For example, only I am taking that, that uh, name is queen, and he, he has given the designation as CEO, okay? And here the salary is 5,000, and commission is zero, and department number is 30. Already we have written in trigger, if department number is 30, that commission should be 40%. So out of 5,000, the commission should be calculated 40%. And in a commission column, we should see 2,000 as the value. Then we will execute this query insert into EM. See, one row got inserted. Now I am committing it. Queen, the salary is 5,000 and the commission is 2,000. Department number is 30. Okay. As per our expectation, the results are coming. So trigger is working fine. The department 30 and commission is 2,000 means 5,000 into 40 percentage. The, cal the amount calculated as 2,000. So our trigger is working fine. You will see how the trigger works. If you look at the example, we can see the trigger is applied on the EMP table and it will be fired whenever the before insert operations happens on the EMP table. So whenever an insert command is executed by any user, trigger will just fire before the insert operation. Here we are calculating the commission before the insert operation. When the insert is fired, the commission will be calculated and a record is inserted into the that uh, table. So whenever the insert command is executed means it triggers. Okay, the uh, trigger is getting executed. Okay, this is the simple trigger I have taken. You can work with after insert, after delete, before delete, before update, like that. Several events are there. You can try it on your own by seeing the example that are available in the Google. We will see some other topics in next video. Thanks. Bye.